My name is Janine Mackay. Here are my picks for the top six things coming up in TVZ that you might not know about. My pick for number six is The Real O'Neills. From the outside, The O'Neills are a seemingly perfect family, but they're all harboring secrets. Kenny, who is 16 years old, decides to finally tell his family that he's gay, but before he can, each and every single other family member drop a huge secret. And we're getting a divorce. I'm anorexic. I'm gay. What they've forgotten is that they're mic'd up, and they're not only telling each other, they're telling the entire neighborhood at the same time. What is happening here? I think Kenny said he's gay and you're getting a divorce. If you like the middle, you'll love this. Look out for it on TVNZ On Demand from March. My pick for number five is The Barefoot Bandits. This is a New Zealand on funded children's series. It features three adorable characters, Fridge, Riley and Tane, and they get up to all sorts of trouble. Some amazing Kiwi voice talent. We've got Reese Darby. Totally Haluni. Look. Tammy Davis, Timmy Weir Morrison. It even features Lucy Lawless. This is perfect for you and your family to watch. Sundays, 6.30 p.m. TV2. Our first home, the multi-night format is back. TV1 has cast new families and they've tweaked the format to make it just exclusively wheelbarrow races now. No, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, they have made some tweaks to the format and you can expect more drama this time around as the kids are fully at the helm of making all the big decisions. That could break you. Stay tuned right until the very end. My personal favourite moment. Going, going. The live auctions, they're completely nerve-wracking and nothing beats live television. So that's Sundays, Mondays and Tuesdays, TV1. My pick for number three is The Simpsons. <laughs> After nearly 12 years away, they are finally coming back to TVNZ. I have been waiting for this. Yay! Woohoo! And it features some amazing guest stars. Oh, I could see you Tuesdays after school. <sighs> but the real storyline that has everybody talking, is he or isn't he? <laughs> After 27 seasons, the Simpsons producers have confirmed they're finally going to address Smithers' sexuality. Good Lord! Uh, Look out for all new Simpsons at Sunday 7pm on TV2. Uh, My pick for number two is the Big Ward. This is a very serious issue. We are now the most obese nation in the world. Instead of passing a rugby ball, I was passing a Big Mac from one hand to the other. We follow six patients as they go through the process of preparing for surgery, getting their stomach stapled, and what that's like out the other side. You need to lose weight before surgery. <laughs> we go through all the emotions, the highs, the lows. It's a really inspirational watch. It will air Tuesday, 7.30pm on TV2. Before I get to number one, there are so many shows. I honestly want to do my top 16, top 60, Filthy Rich, Shortland Street, you have to be watching those. And of course on TV One, Blind Spot, Code Black, Sunday, all the favourites are back, but in at number one. <laughs> Why wouldn't you go that one? Kitchen Impossible, this is a British show following a group of people with disabilities. This is your moment. As they strive to have careers within the hospitality industry. They are mentored by a wonderful chef, Michelle Rue Jr., who believes, and of course is right, that anybody is employable. Too often people can be written off. This is a really unique series. It celebrates people's abilities, challenges people's perceptions. It's an incredible watch. Look out for that Thursdays, TV2.